Hello again from me, Peter Brackley, and always presuming that Manchester United don't stumble disastrously at non-league Burton Albion tomorrow, this FA Cup tie is for many people the pick of the third round. Luton Town, managed by scouser Mike Newell, a self-confessed Liverpool fan, but a former Evertonian as a player. They are relishing the prospect of facing the European Cup holders here in Bedfordshire. And towards Cissé, who's been worried about his World Cup prospects. The fact that he wasn't getting too many games for Liverpool. His manager here told him Benitez to knuckle down and get on with it. Here he is now. And Peter Crouch, can he get his shot away? Back to Cissé again. And then Gerrard! And that is an awesome finish. He is absolutely deadly. Plenty to write down, plenty to note. Just didn't give it a second thought, did he? Cissé, Gerrard swerved it in beyond the keeper. And Liverpool, after a maybe less than convincing start, have gone in front. Sissoko. Then Alonso is such a fine passer of the ball. Here's Harry Kuehl. And the Australian might have a pot from here. Oof. I don't think that was far away. Hasn't scored yet this season, Harry Kuehl. It's about a year, I think, since he got one in the Premiership. Now, Rowan Vine. Luton are serious about this attack, and it very nearly produced a goal for them. Steve Howard. Underwood going forward. Offside is it. No, the flag stayed down. Howard! Liverpool totally caught out, and Steve Howard has put it away. Barely a flicker of emotion from Mike Newell. Just a moment's hesitation, he probably thought the flag was going to go up. But he did the right thing, he kept going. And it was a very cool finish too, nothing Finnan on the line could do. And Nichols having to evade that challenge from Sissoko. And then another one from Alonso. Oh, it's there! 2-1 to Luton! Robinson! Goodness me! Another very, very sharp piece of finishing. Crouch. Oh, there's no offside. Harry kills away. He's got Gerrard up with him. Oh! Penalty! I'm not sure that Gerrard would have got to that ball, you know. But Underwood shoved him over it's a penalty to Liverpool and really there was no need all eyes on the Frenchman Beresford facing him and saves it brilliant stop by Marlon Beresford rolling back the ears then the veteran goalkeeper to preserve his team's lead oh he was clumsy then and finds a way here this is to be another one for Luton oh! Brought down, surely that's a penalty. Scott Carson right on the edge of his box. It's only yellow. I think there were defenders around. The mistake by Herpia, who was dithering, so clumsy. On went Vine, and Carson, with that outstretched arm, brought him down. Nichols, the captain, is going to take it. And scores! Oh, such drama at Kenilworth Road. It's 3-1 to Luton. And Kevin Nichols has put away his penalty kick. Carson not far away, but it's in the corner. I think it's Suzuko who's being sacrificed to enable Cinema Pont goal to come on. Suzuko has had that holding role in midfield. Cinema Pont goal, the young Frenchman. Lovely ball, cinema pong goal, great chance. And they're right back in it again. 3-2. And this is developing into some cup tie. Gerard again, always wants possession. Reset. They've got plenty up here, Liverpool. Cissé! Well, fine technique, but not quite. Maybe that's the point Mike Newell is making. Just calm it down. Let's just get our game together again. Start passing it around. They caused Liverpool much trouble in that first half with their passing ability, and they've got on from there. But now, 
Liverpool are retaliating, and it's 3-3, Alonso. Beresford was caught out. Xabi Alonso, I think that might have just been deflected, he's a long, long way out. Beresford was off his line, and it's just dipped under the bar. John Arnorisa. Now Finnan. Cinema Ponko! 4 3 Liverpool. And that is what you call an inspired substitution. Sent on for Liverpool at 3 1 down. He's got two. And they've turned this cup tie on its head. Foley. On to Feeney. Warps a miscue. Finnan had no alternative there other than just to blast it away. Luton three, Liverpool four, up comes Beresford, and why not at this stage? Oh. Had it clear. Underwood. It's a long way back for Beresford. Alonso's gone for goal. Is it going in? It is! Extraordinary. Gabi Alonso has secured Liverpool's place in round four. Such quick thinking by him. His second goal of the afternoon. It's all over now. A fantastic FA Cup tie. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Terrific stuff. Cinema Pong goal on as a substitute. He scored twice. We've had a penalty save. We've had drama right from the off. But in the end, it's Rafa Benitez and his team who are celebrating victory. Liverpool the winners in an extraordinary game by five goals to three. A very good evening to you and welcome to Fratton Park for tonight's fourth round FA Cup tie between Portsmouth and Liverpool. An all-premiership clash for a place in the fifth round. And this is a competition that Portsmouth have only won once in their history, back in 1939, but they held on to the trophy longer than any other side has ever done. They held it for seven years during the war years. Liverpool supporters have seen their side win this trophy six times, as well as appearing in six other finals that they've lost, but their last success was in the Millennium Stadium against Arsenal in 2001. Now Pericard plays it wide, Carragher gets there first, but he'll have to work hard to prevent the corner. That was the first time, really, that Portsmouth have turned that Liverpool back four and forced them to face their own goal. And they've still got them pinned in here. O'Neill, too high, and it's going to be a corner. Portsmouth with good pressure. Gary O'Neill to take it. Pericard heads it down, I tell Mendes going to strike, and he has! First strike of the match, the first save that either keeper's been forced to make. And it was Rayner in Liverpool's goal. And Portsmouth have only got past this fourth round stage of the Cup once since 1997, and that was when they put Liverpool out in the fifth round two years ago to reach the quarter-finals. Cissé, what can he do from this tight position? Ball's gone out. It was off the Portsmouth player, so it's going to be a corner. Gerard takes it. Oh, that's bouncing awkwardly and appeals for a penalty, and it's been given by Phil Dowd. An awkward bouncing ball, and there was a Portsmouth hand, which Phil Dowd has spotted. Liverpool appealed immediately, and it hit the arm of Stefanovic. Now, an early test for Dean Kiley. Gerard, the top scorer, with 15 goals. Sucked away into the bottom corner with great aplomb, and Liverpool take the lead a little bit fortuitously. Kylie went the right way, but there was too much pace on the ball for him to get his arm across in time. Khupia wins it. Sissoko knocks it forward. Murray enters, a nice touch to find Risa. Pursued by O'Brien. Good strike! Oh, and that's the left foot of Jean-Anna Risa that we talked about earlier. 
He's absolutely deadly from that sort of range and that sort of angle. And he has one look, swings the left foot, and that was fabulous. And Dean Kiley beaten twice in the first half of his debut for Portsmouth. There's Pericard coming round the back, so Carragher puts it out. Free kick. Todorov, who was fouled. What a cluster of players to battle for this, and there's a touch on! Oh, and that's exactly what we needed! Portsmouth have got a goal back right at the start of the second half. And don't write them off yet. What a good goal by Sean Davis. Flick header in a crowded penalty area. Kylie to launch this back downfield. Hippia. Hughes heads it back in. Karadis goes to ground, it's got a free kick. Now it's another good position for Portsmouth. And it will be Stefanovic to take it. Ooh, and it almost came down quickly enough, just over that top corner. Hughes, Taylor. Here's Todorov, gets a great ball across the six-yard box. Oh, and they've all lost it, and finally, Reina's able to die on it, and Karadis didn't know where it was, and neither did Reina. And it needed just a touch from a Portsmouth player, and it would have been all square at two apiece. Finnan takes it, and there's the final whistle. A fourth-round FA Cup tie that was much more exciting in the second half than it had been in the first. And so it's Liverpool into round five, and the final score at Fratton Park is Portsmouth 1, Liverpool 2. It's a head-on clash of true FA Cup giants. 17 glory years between them. Manchester United, who a decade ago were winners over Liverpool in their last cup final meeting, are at Anfield today to renew hostilities. A very good afternoon to you, I'm Peter Brackley, and this is Anfield, home, of course, of Liverpool Football Club, and the setting today for a mighty and meaty showdown. As Manchester United, last season's beaten finalists, so often Liverpool's bitter northwest of England rivals, arrive in search of the win that would maintain their hopes of winning a trophy this season, along, of course, with the Carling Cup. That was Morientes. I think it's fair to say the Liverpool fans really uh, have been losing patience with him. He's done such a long spell now without a goal, and his overall confidence seems to be so low. Howard Webb quickly exerting his authority here to penalise Sissoko. He really is a highly regarded official, Howard Webb. He's only had three years in the Premiership. That was Ronaldo's shot. And well gathered in by Reina. And he knows it's going to be tough, but it's not completely impossible. It was Fletcher with a little nudge then on Kuhl. Fletcher partnering gigs in the centre of midfield. No place for Alan Smith, although he is among the subs today. Now, will it be Gerrard? Will it be John Arnarusa? It will be Gerrard, the Liverpool skipper. The teasing ball is there. Oh, great save! Harry Kuehl got the flick up there, and that was a terrific reaction stop by Edwin van der Sar. How did he keep that out? Peter Crouch. And it's first blood to Liverpool. Crouch back in the team, back on the score sheet too. Van der Sar pulling off that stunning save from Kuehl, but he can't keep out the follow-up effort from Peter Crouch. He's really arrowed that header in, off the post. Wanted too much time on the ball. Those tackles are flying in in the midfield, so Zoko, now Gerrard to take it on. Orientes and Crouch ahead of him. Here's Hammer. 
Good into play, Morientes. That's a terrific block there by Vinic. Really slapped the door shut. It's going to be some defender for them. Now, was that mistimed by Ryan Giggs? Right on the edge of the box on Kuhl. It's going to be a caution for the United veteran. Just past the half hour mark. Oh, no, no, the whistle had gone. Steve Finnan in the thick of things there. But referee Webb had blown for infringement. Oh, moment says it's his end goes Crouch. Oh, what was Vinic thinking of there? A real misunderstanding with his goalkeeper. And he was very nearly punished by Peter Crouch. Here's Gary Neville. Van Nistelrooy making tracks into the middle. And Saha. And Van Nistelrooy couldn't quite convert the opportunity. Here comes Mr. Popular with the throw. Off Sissoko. Back in by Ronaldo. Van Nistelrooy just couldn't quite get it under control, but Giggs can! And on his so-called weaker foot, it's over the top. But it was a chance, it was a chance. And they haven't had many. Victory only seconds away now for Liverpool. And a depressing afternoon for Manchester United. Last season's beaten finalists. And for the first time in 85 years, Liverpool have beaten Manchester United in the FA Cup. It was tight, it was very tight. But in truth, Liverpool were good value for the victory. Peter Crouch's goal on 19 minutes has settled the issue. They've seen off the old enemy. The final score in this fifth round tie at Atfield is Liverpool 1, Manchester United 0. Steve Bruce is hoping to guide Birmingham City to a first FA Cup semi-final since 1975. They're in the last eight after Mikhail Forsell's fifth-round decider at Stoke. Rafa Benitez hasn't managed to beat Blues yet since taking over at Liverpool. But thanks to Peter, Peter Crouch's winning goal against Manchester United, he'll be confident of putting that one right at St Andrews this evening. Alonso. Straight at him was David Dunn and Rob Stiles giving the free kick, and rightly so. Murphy has gone up front to join Crouch. Here is Gerard to whip it in, and it was off to Zoko, and a goal from Herpia inside the first minute. 55 seconds on the clock, and all he could do there, Steve Bruce, was to look at the ground and maybe hope it would swallow him up. Very hesitant defending, you'd have to say, from Birmingham. There's no hiding place out there, says Steve Bruce, when you commit that kind of blunder. Here's Gerrard leading the charge for Liverpool. In goes Crouch! 2-0, and Birmingham already are in turmoil. Disarray at the back. Sensational start by Liverpool. Look at the room, though, that Gerrard has got out there. And no one has got with Crouch. He's got between two defenders. Cunningham was ball watching, and it was too strong for Mike Taylor in the Birmingham goal. Crouch. Here's Garcia. He's got really quick feet. Still Luis Garcia. And now Crouch. Two for him. And Liverpool are coasting at 3-0. Did really well, Garcia, and then Crouch waiting for his moment, and he picked his spot well too. The former Aston Villa striker has come back to haunt their rivals, Birmingham, and they are very much in control. Birmingham have hardly created a shot worthy of the name yet. Such has been Liverpool's dominance. On by John Arnarisa, here they come again. Kuhl. They're rampant at the moment, Gerrard. And now Crouch! On a hat-trick and not far away. Well, he'll have had a few words to say at half-time, you can bank on that. 
He will have been absolutely disgusted with their defending. And no real surprise that he has made a change now with Tebbley coming on. And I've had it confirmed from the dressing room, it is tactical. And here's an opening and a chance for Johnson! Oh, what a lift that would have given his team, had that have gone in. Gerard got goal side of Painter, and almost played Garcia in then, Tebbley had to be on his guard. Gerard. Now Alonso to clip it in. Oh! Really had Taylor stretching. He was off his line. Just managed to claw it over the top. Alonso with Suzoko. Now it's Steve Finnan. There's a neat little flick then by Garcia, Gerard, Morientes, beautifully worked. Such incisive play, and no wonder he is pointing at the teammates who set it up for him. He had the easy part. Garcia into Gerard, Morientes between two defenders, and Birmingham simply had no answer. Finan to Alonso. Sell. Not really in the picture. He's short of match fitness in terms of having been out for quite a while. Forsell, he's got a chance here. Well saved by Rayner. First time he's been really called upon. Here's Finnan. They are in the mood. Reset! Boy, are they in the mood! That's a cracker. Venom a strike from John Arnorisa. And even the Birmingham fans are admiring there the quality of that strike. He hit it so fiercely. And it fizzed past Mike Taylor. Here is Kuehl now. Teasing Melchior. It's an own goal. It's six of Tebbley. And it just about sums up Birmingham's night. And he can hardly now bear to watch so many defenders back he just sliced it into the corner so many out for Birmingham you do have to sympathize with Steve Bruce he hasn't got Liverpool's squad here's Cissé oh it's squeezed in and it's seven Mike Taylor has to take the blame for that one the malaise an offensive malaise is spreading Poor old Mike Taylor, really wasn't any danger. Fired in by CC and under the grasp of Taylor. 7-0. Can't really be any explanation for the way that his team have just fallen apart in alarming fashion. Not just for this game, but for the matches to come. Well, there'll be a shake of the hand from Steve Bruce. He will keep his dignity. And Rafa Benitez will feel for him too. They've been super. And they're into the semi finals. Winners at St Andrews by an astonishing seven goals to nil. So we're nearly all set then for the first of the semi finals. A real tinderbox of a tie. Both managers, I'm sure, will have been at pains to tell their players to forget any personal vendettas. Certainly that's been the line he's been taking, Rafa Benitez. It's likely to be extremely tight, with the prospect of extra time, perhaps even a penalty shootout. Certainly not to be ruled out at this stage. Carrigan, magnificent this season for Liverpool. Now Risa. Q, lovely tap two away from Lampard, linking well with Crouch, Reese is up in support. This is what Chelsea feared, but their covering was good enough in the end from Jeremy. Now a chance here then for Reese, maybe to hurl a long one in, not this time. Alonso, different route to goal. Oh, it really flew through the air then and almost caught out Kudagini. 
He just about managed to react in time. Alonso who fired it in here, and it zipped off the turf. Did well to respond, Kudacini. Well, he's gambled on leaving out Robin and Duff and Cole. That's the way I want to start with, he says, and we'll see how it goes from there. Essien, the Ghanaian international. Looking forward to the World Cup finals, of course. This is Frank Lampard here. A lovely ball as well. Oh, what a chance! But he's put it wide, Drogba. Suddenly found himself in the clear. But he spurned the opportunity. Well, he's in an offside position when it was played. But no flag allowed to go on. And somehow he managed to steer it wide. That's what you get with Didier Drogba. Bags of effort. He's not short on skill, but sometimes his finishing is somewhat awry. And that was the case there. Maybe you couldn't believe he was onside. Gerard. Yep. Well, it jumped Terry, but the foot was raised. It will be a free kick to Liverpool. He felt the ball was there to be contested. I think he's right about that. Gerard with 19 goals for Liverpool. When you count the Champions League qualifiers. Plenty to worry, Jose Mourinho. And it's in! From Risa! The keeper just couldn't get down in time. I think you may have to query his positioning there. He certainly is the goalkeeper in terms of where the wall was. Driven home by John Arnarisa and Liverpool just before the halfway point in the first half, take the lead. They might biting back, they've done more than that. Can he get it right this time? There has been something of a war of words in the build-up to the game between the two coaches. Although, if anything, Benitez has been stronger than Mourinho for once. Time is killed, trying his luck down the right. Too quick for Del Horno, and for Lampard, still killed! It was a great run. And in the end, deserved better, really. When he's in the mood, when he's on his game, he is some player, the Australian. Really tantalising run, but no end product. Trying to beat Kudacini on his near post there. And all scored in the Merseyside derby win over Everton a few weeks ago. Now Harry Kuehl. And once again, it's given away very cheaply by Suzoko. Lampard letting fly. Rayner is right behind it. He's had a safe pair of hands all season, Pepe Reina. Really has been a fantastic signing for Liverpool. Sissoko and Alonso very strong in the heart of the midfield. And they have an outlet certainly here in Harry Kuehl. Up comes Gerrard now. Had the pace two to take on Del Horno. Oh, Luis Garcia! Really should have done better there, surely. Teed up on a plate for him by Gerrard. Real acceleration here by the England midfielder. He had time to look up, pick him out, no one had closed him down there. And Garcia, like Drogba at the other end, wasting a clear-cut opening. Lampard. Challenged by Alonso. This is Aaron Robin now, then, for Chelsea. Striving for response, and they've got one too. No, Terry has been penalised as he dived in there. Some pushing, leaning in, seen by Graham Pohl. I think correctly so as well. There was a clear shove in the back of the net from John Terry, but it's been ruled out. Jumping all over John Arnarisa. Luis Garcia scored that controversial goal, a ghost goal, Mourinho called it, from the Champions League semi-final last year. Risa on the prowl again for Liverpool. Now it's Alonso. And Gerrard shooting shots. Oh. Poked wide by Luis Garcia, that's the second really good opening that's been fashioned for him. Not, I'm sure, that that was what Gerard intended here. He was going for goal, surely. Oh, Luis Garcia breaking now. Another chance, and this time he has taken it. 
third time lucky or what? It's a beauty. And now Liverpool do lead 2 0. Luis Garcia. The man whose contentious goal guided Liverpool through to the Champions League final has dealt another chilling blow to Chelsea hopes, this time in the FA Cup semi-final. Great finish too, real composure here, always had it under control. Beyond Cudicini, and Liverpool have doubled their money. Too good for Cudicini, it was Gallas with that very weak header then, what was he thinking of? Terry couldn't get back in time. Not amused by this. Two goals to make up. Surely he has to gamble now and put on Joe Cole or Duff. Well, was a nifty footwork then from Kuehl. Liverpool pressing again. Luis Garcia! And he might have settled it there. Just spooned away, clawed away by Cudicini. A teasing little ball in from Kuehl. On the volley from Luis Garcia. Didn't quite get hold of it, into the ground, really. Murphy has come up from the back to join Crouch. Has a twin threat here. Just over the top from Peter Crouch. Sort of leaned into that one. In fact, I would have thought that came off the defender then. Robert. Chelsea looking now to take the game to Liverpool. Great run by Robin. Can he finish? So nearly a lifeline then for Chelsea. Oh, that amazing run by Aaron Robin. Defenders just couldn't get to him. He was too quick then for Herpia. Brought Makaleli. Oof, terrible header. And then Drogba! And they are back in it. Didier Drogba strikes for Chelsea. And a check of the watch will tell him there is time. Tossed back in here by Makaleli. That's Risa with a completely mistimed header. In went Didier Drogba, very brave, very strong. Just getting there before Pepe Reina. And that's a goal for Chelsea. Around 20 minutes to go. Now the nerves are on edge again. Cole. Good ball. Oh! Drucker was almost on the end of it. Robin was! But he scuffed it. Goodness me. The old alarm bells were ringing back there then for Liverpool. Eased in here by Cole. That was Finnan challenging with Drogba. And then Robin got no power behind the shot. Not sure about his aerial prowess, we shall see, maybe. Oof! It's gone wide, and surely it's a goal kick. No corner. Must have taken a deflection there. Drop the challenge, and they've taken it very quickly, too. Hoping to catch Liverpool out. Aaron Robert. Oh, chance, surely! Oh! Joe Cole looks across to the referee's assistant. But he has blasted over the bar. No flag. And a golden, golden chance has been spurned here, right at the death by Joe Cole. And that's it! Liverpool have done it! Jamie Carragher and his men have made it through to the final, while he's showing very little emotion. But deep down, he will be absolutely thrilled. As are the Liverpool fans here in Manchester. John Arnarisa, who gave them the lead, then the second goal from Luis Garcia, which seemed to put the game beyond Chelsea, but back they came. You can never write them off. Such a brave header from Didier Drogba. The dream of the double is over for them for this season. It's Liverpool who go on to the Millennium Stadium and the FA Cup final. Winners at Old Trafford in this thrilling match, this thrilling semi-final, by two goals to one. to you and a very warm welcome everyone wherever you might be from Australia to Albania from Iceland to the Middle East a potential two billion households tuning into these pictures today and hopefully hopefully the pride and joy the trophies of the English football calendar will be won this year to whet the appetite 
for the global extravaganza set to unfold in Germany in just a few weeks' time. Hardly new territory this for Liverpool, for the outgoing European champions. It's their seventh visit to this magnificent arena in five years. And there's no doubting their status as red-hot favourites. But Alan Pardew's West Ham are no strangers at Cardiff either as playoff finalists for the past two years here. And such has been the impressive nature of their return to the top flight. It would be foolish indeed to dismiss them as merely underdogs, albeit dangerous underdogs, content just to enjoy their day out. Ben Ayun. Now Scaloni has made a run down that right side. Will sink two by Ashton. Harewood wants it in the middle. Oh, it's an own goal! In off Jamie Carragher and West Ham have taken the lead. A sudden break. And Jamie Carragher, of all people, was in the wrong place at the right time as far as West Ham are concerned. Well, look at this ball from Dean Ashton. That is a fantastic ball, it really is. He waited, he waited. Carragher had to play it because he wasn't sure Rayner was going to get it. But this pass is inch perfect. Scaloni drives it in across the box there. Carragher has to go for it. And unfortunately for him, just for the answer, he misses it with his right foot, it hits his left foot and then goes in. But that goal is all down to Dean Ashton's superb through ball. It really was a tremendous pass. Misery for Jamie Carragher, but elation for West Ham and their fans here. Hetherington teasing Herpia. Oh, testing Rayner who lost it and it's in! From Dean Ashton! Unbelievable! And West Ham are two goals up against Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Well, it's amazing. It's the two players that have been talked about all week. Who would they play, would they not? The ball comes up. There's Ashton that flicks it on. Edrington there just turns Hapier, tries a shot. That's a ball that Rayner nine times a ten gobbles up. Dean Ashton takes the chance, follows it in. And it's a simple tap in for him, but Ashton shot through legs, and Dean Ashton, well, what a contribution he's made to the, to the game so far. Made the first goal, scored the second, and the player who right up to kick-off was touch and go whether he was going to play or not. Now Finner and Gerrard. It's a lovely ball as well for Cissé! It's there this time. Well, as they say, game on. That certainly was a great ball in from Finnan, and, and certainly as CC gets round the back of, of Solanko and there and knocks it in right. It's a great volley. He's still got a bit to do and it arrives at him. But Sc gets the other side of Scaloni there. Scaloni doesn't know he's there. And it's a great volley from CC. Here we go. No chance for his lot, but what a game we've got on our hands now. Here's Gerard. His route to goal was blocked for a moment anyway. Goes Crouch. In comes Gerard! It certainly wasn't blocked the second time, and they are back on level terms in this thrilling cup final. 2-2. Well, wouldn't you know it if anybody was going to score, you know, right from the kickoff, Gerard has shown his intention. Lovely ball in. Crouch at the far post there, knocks it back. And there's Gerard unmarked. Midfield, West Ham midfields don't follow his run in. And it just bounces up from Lovely. Watch him appear in the picture there. As he comes in, no West Ham midfield player near him. Carl Fletcher hasn't followed his run. Bounces up Lovely for him. Shaka has luck, no chance whatsoever. You'll see Ben Ayou. So exciting for West Ham this season. Now Konczewski lending his support down the left. Oh, it's in! Paul Konczewski has conjured up an incredible goal. Did he mean it? Was it a cross? Was it a shot? He doesn't care right now. It's a goal for West Ham, and they are back in front in this extraordinary, exhilarating final. Well, I can't believe he meant that. I think he was aiming for Harewood, who was peeling off to the far post. 
but it caught Rayner again. You see Harewood pulling off to the far post. I'm sure that's where he's looking. He's miscued it slightly. Rayner's off his line. He can't adjust his feet quickly enough. And we see the finish in the back of the net. I think he looks up there, looks at Harewood, and it comes off the outside of his foot. And Rayner is totally in the wrong position and can't readjust. But is that comeback going to be in vain? Paul Koncheski with the third goal for West Ham. Cissé is back on the field now, they're back to full strength, Liverpool. And back at West Ham throats again. That's Risa, tossed it towards Morientes. And then Gerrard! Oh! Oh, goodness me! What a strike from Steven Gerrard! I told you, I told you, don't write them off. Well... That's something. This game has had absolutely everything. Captain Fantastic or what? Oh, what a strike. I mean, five minutes before he was hobbling, he was struggling with cramp, and it just dropped to him, and he's obviously made his mind up, right? This is going in the net or it's going in the stand. I'm just giving it everything I've got left. And he struck it perfectly. He's got no chance. He's 35 yards out. It's flown in that back corner. What a strike. And uh, I just don't know what else can happen in this game now because we've seen it all. There is so little more you can say about that. It was an absolute pile driver from the man. Many feel is the best midfielder in the world, and you can hardly dispute that, argue with that on this evidence. Okay, Liverpool prepared to be patient here as they probe at West Ham. Sizoko, another who's covered so much ground, he's so combative and aggressive in the midfield. And what they want to see now, the Liverpool fans, is a complete recovery, a complete comeback by their team. Down at 2-0, but certainly not out. And once again, they have bounce their way back into this final at 3-3. Sharing up. And as far as Risa, letting fly! And it was not far away then from the Norwegian. Well, when the ball comes out to him, West Ham can't get to him quick enough. He has time to assess what he's going to do, and that is inches away from going in that top corner. There has to be a loser, and it looks now as if that is going to be settled. By a penalty shootout, unless, unless Nigel Rio Coca, Zamora, trips by the Mohammed. Well, he's been cautioned by Alan Wiley, which maybe is a little harsh at this stage. I think the biggest punishment is that the, the free kicks been conceded where it has been. You'll see Banayun to whip this one in. Rayner across all the bar of the post. And then why? By the Olympic Marlon Harewood. Oh. Rayner's not going to get a touch on that, but Harewood, he just can't adjust. He's struggling for his life with the injury. Just cannot adjust here. Didi Hatman will take the first kick. For Liverpool against Shaka Hislop, the man who a year ago thought his career was just about over. He didn't dream, I'm sure, that he would be in this kind of situation. Haman against Hislop and scores eventually. Very cool. Bobby Zamora, oh, he saved it! Well, he has such a reputation for keeping out penalty kicks. And he's come up with another blinding stop here. Pepe Reina. Here comes Herpi. Oh, that's been saved as well. Well, that really was a tired penalty, yeah. if ever I've seen one. It's a very comfortable save for Shaka Heslop to make. So, um, you know, I think as Paul Walsh talked about, you know, tiredness in this penalty shootout. And that certainly showed. Teddy Sheringham. Can he beat Rayner? He can! Sheringham celebrates, so do the West Ham faithful behind that goal. Come on, come on, that's the cry from the veteran striker. 1-1.
Steven Gerrard. Such a hero in the match itself. Eyes staring, focused, and he scores. Kaczewski. Rayner again. Alan Pardew fears the worst. John Arnarisa, the spotlight is on him now. Confronting him is Shaka Hislop. But it was too strong. Rock Risa. 3 1. It's Ferdinand, saved again by Rayner. And Liverpool have won the FA Cup. Beppe Reina may not have had the best of days in the match itself, but goodness me, he has been a hero in the penalty shootout. And it's Liverpool's day after all. Well, as you rightly say, I'm sure Pepe Reina will look at his 90 minutes and think that's probably one of the most inconsistent games I've had this season for Liverpool. But when it mattered in the penalties, he came up with trumps. And certainly two of the three saves he made was absolutely magnificent and deserves all the praise now that he's getting from his teammates. And Steven Gerrard, what a hero, the player's player of the year. A year ago, we held a loss so excitedly, the European Champions League trophy. Now it's the FA Cup, another proud, proud moment for this magnificent player. The heartbeat of the Liverpool team, a hero for the Red Half of Merseyside. Hopefully for England too. And the FA Cup is back in Liverpool hands for the seventh time. Second in six seasons, it's glory for them in Cardiff again. And back home on Merseyside, there will be some party in celebration, as there always is, when the Reds bring them a trophy.